Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Saturday night. Let's just have some fun. Let's talk more about crime. I've written two novels, crime novels, about the Los Angeles Syndicate. And in those books, I talk about other criminal organizations. I talk about the Russian Mafia, which we did a video about. But I also talk about the Chinese triads and the Chinese gangs. Some of you guys don't know nothing about that shit. The Chinese are no joke. These guys roll around with machine guns in the back of their BMWs. They have a structure that is tiered in four levels. Their head, the Don, the, the boss, level one, I believe they call it Sean Chu is the level one. They have different names for the for the dude, for their leader, their elected group leader. They call him the Mountain Master and call him the Dragon Head. That's what I've heard is the Dragon Head. Call him the Mountain Lord, the first Root Marshal. I think you'll most likely hear him called the Mountain Master or the Dragon Head mostly. And he's the boss. They have a second tier with a few different types of people on it. They have the deputy mountain master, which is just the, you know, the second in command. They call that level Fu Shan Chu, and he's just the deputy leader. The uh, dragon head gets killed, then he steps in his place, or you know, whatever, for whatever reason. On that same level, the second level. They have the incense master, who they call Huang Chu. The incense master. <laughs> and he handles the rituals, the triad rituals. These guys are heavy duty into their rituals, into their culture. Ceremonies of initiation. They got a pretty uh, wacky uh, ceremony. On that same second level, we're almost up at the second level, they got the vanguard. He handles recruitment and assisting in ceremonies. His, his position is Sin Fung. And those are all on the second level. On the third level, Hung Quan, the Red Poles, these are military unit leaders, like capos. They command around 50 guys, you know, they all have their own crews. On that same third level, they have something called the white paper fan. I can't even pronounce it in Chinese. Pak Zi Sin. Somebody who speaks Chinese can laugh at me. These guys are administrative officers, they're not combat. On that same third level, this is the last position on the third level, is the straw sandal, Cho Hai. He's a triad messenger, organizer of meetings and of gang fights. And then all the way down to the bottom, 49 Chai. These are the, or the ordinary members, there's foot soldiers, new recruits, low level dudes. If you're wondering where these uh, triads exist. They got, for example, San Francisco, they got Hua Ching. Hua Ching has had a lot of beef with different guys. These, but the Hua Ching, in my opinion, and somebody out there who runs with these guys, from what I understand, Hua Ching isn't really a triad. They're just a gang, but maybe I'm wrong. The triads are connected with what's called the tongs. A tong is kind of like a social club, but it's all Chinese. They find these things in Chinatown. Members of Chinese communities will belong to the social club, the tongs. They're, they're cultural centers, uh, religious places, meeting places. But the, the triad could also be set up there. In Los Angeles, that used to be, I don't know if it's still the case, but that used to be absolutely how it was. You wanted to find them triad dudes, that's where you went. You went downtown to the Tong. They had one of their triad leaders, dragon head, old guy, killed at a, I guess it was a mahjong room, right near the Tong. 
Guys walked right up, pop, pop, pop. Shot him, walked off. Real old dude. They got in Los Angeles, they got the watching in San Francisco. And then they have others. If you know of others, you know, let, let us know. They got black dragons in Los Angeles. I thought they had watching in Los Angeles too. Maybe I'm wrong. Now, tell me what the deal is with these Asian boys. Anybody out there know the Asian boys are enemies of the watching? Or, is they, or are they all down with each other? Somebody out there is going to know. New York City, East Coast guys. They got flying dragons on the East Coast in New York City. Ghost shadows out of New York City. Green dragons out of New York City. White tigers out of New York City. They got a lot of motherfuckers in New York City. <laughs> they got one in Texas. Black Jade in Texas. They may have others. That's just a little bit of info on the triad. I've never run into any of those dudes. And from what I understand, they're real secretive. These guys are real rich. They make money is what I mean. These guys are disciplined. They're hardcore dudes, not to be played with, not to be laughed at. These guys are, are, are real deal. And they're global. They have a global network, and that's partly what makes them scary. They're, they're all over the world. Thanks for watching.